and welcome to the session. I am Shashi and I am going to help you to solve the following question. Question is, fill in the blanks in the following table. Given that A is the first term, B is the common difference and AN is the nth term of the AP. Given table is this. First of all, let us understand the key idea to solve the given question. The nth term AN of the AP with first term A and common difference D is given by AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. Let us start with the solution now. First of all, we can see in first part we are given A, D and N and we have to find out the nth term. So, we know by key idea n term is given by the formula a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d where a is the first term and d is the common difference. Now, this implies a n is equal to 7 plus 8 minus 1 multiplied by 3. Here, we had substituted the value of a, n and d from this table. Now, we get n term is equal to 7 plus 7 multiplied by 3 or we can say an is equal to 28, right? Now, this completes the first part of the question. Now, in the second part, we have to find the value of d, that is the common difference and we are given a, n and the value of a n. Now again we know nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d as we have already read in key idea. Now we have to find the d and we will substitute the values of a n, a and n given in the second part to find d. Now we can write 0 is equal to minus 18 plus 10 minus 1 multiplied by d. Now, this implies 0 is equal to minus 18 plus 90 or we can say this implies 90 is equal to 18. This further implies d is equal to 18 upon 9 equal to 2. So, we get d is equal to 2. Now, in the third part, we have to find the value of A and we are given the value of common difference that is D, N and A. Now, again we will use the formula for N term that is A N is equal to A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. So, we know N term is equal to minus 5 A plus value of n is equal to 18 and value of d is equal to minus 3. So, we have substituted for a n, n and d. Now, this implies minus 5 is equal to a minus 51 and this further implies a is equal to minus 5 plus 51. This implies a is equal to 46. Therefore, we get A is equal to 46. Now, in the fourth part, we are given A, D and A N and we have to find the value of N. Now, again we will use the formula for N term and substitute for A, D and A N and find the value of N. So, we can write a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Now we know a n is equal to 3.6, a is equal to minus 18.9. We have to find n and value of d is 2.5. So we had substituted for a n, a and d. Now this implies 3.6 
plus 18.9 is equal to 2.5 multiplied by n minus 1. Now, this implies 22.5 is equal to 2.5 multiplied by n minus 1. This further implies n minus 1 is equal to 22.5 upon 2.5. Now, this implies n minus 1 is equal to 9. This implies n is equal to 9 plus 1 equal to 10. Therefore, we get the value of n is equal to 10. Now, in the fifth part, we are given a, d and n and we have to find the value of a n. So, again we will use the formula for n -th term that is a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So, we can write a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Now, we have to find a n and we will substitute the values of a n and d. Now, we know a n is equal to 3.5 plus 105 minus 1 multiplied by 0. Now, this implies a n is equal to 3.5 plus 0. This further implies a n is equal to 3.5. So, we get a n is equal to 3.5. So, our final answer is for first part a n is equal to 28 for second part, common difference is equal to 2. For third part, A is equal to 46, that is the first term. Then, for fourth part, N is equal to 10. For fifth part, An is equal to 3.5. So, this is our required answer. This completes the session. Hope you understood the session. Take care and goodbye.